Hi, what's up guys? My name is Natalie and today we're looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum as usual. And if we're looking at Bitcoin on the on the weekly, we can see that we do have an hu a huge engulfing candle right here. What we are doing is that we are looking at the lower time frames and yesterday we did actually have three opportunities to sell the market and right now we are looking for more opportunities using the higher time frames and then just break it down to the lower time frames. That's the best thing you can do. We do have multiple opportunities to sell the market in Ethereum. I'm going to show you exactly where you can sell the market and where your targets will be. We are definitely still in a downtrend, so we're not looking for any buy opportunities yet. Continue watching this video. I'm going to show you exactly where we can sell the market and where our targets can be. Let's go in directly to Ethereum and we can start on the weekly and see how it looks because we are soon at the end of this week and we can see that we do have a huge candle to the downside on the weekly so if we are closing below the previous bullish candle that we do have here we'll have a engulfing candle that means that the market is actually pushing to the downside and we can see that the market will can continue down for a bit if we are taking the fibonacci from the weekly and that's from 8 1876 to 3965 it would actually make sense if the market does come back down here to the fibonacci levels on the 60 and 51 percent because we will also retest this previous resistance that we have that actually the Fibonacci is just coming to. So that would make sense. Obviously, we have to wait until tomorrow. If we're looking at the daily, we can we, we do see that we do retest this previous resistance that we did have here. Uh, if we're going to the lower time frames, if we're taking the Fibonacci level from this high, and that's 3404 to the low, and that's 3207 we can actually see that the market did come back up here and retest this Fibonacci levels on the 15 61 percent and the market actually uh, is on, on its way down so we did have a, we, we did have our lower high no lower low lower high lower low maybe this is gonna be our next lower high and the next lower low if we are following how the market looks like looks right now the market will do another lower high and then continue to the downside obviously that's something we have to wait and see but i do believe we will continue down if we'll go if we're looking on the lower time frames to see what's happening over here we did come back up and retest this previous uh, high that we did have and the market did continue to the downside if we want to see opportunities to sell the market again i definitely can see the market breaking this little this high low that we do have i do want the market to come back down a little bit more to come up and retest it and then if we see signs uh for sell uh we can totally do that and our target will be um, if we're going to the higher time frames to see we can use the fibonacci levels that we did actually have on the I still do believe that this is the target that we can have. Uh, you can have three targets. This is the first one. That's 3164, 3060, and 2978. Uh, one, sorry. So that those are the targets that you do and that you can have if you are selling the market. And if we're taking, we just want to see how it looks on the lower time frames. Yeah, you can also see here how it looks on in in the in the Fibonacci levels fifteen sixty one how the market actually did retest it, and you can see here that you you do have a head and shoulders, and you do have the neckline right here, and the market can come potentially come up back up come back up and retest it, and then continue to the downside. Uh, I definitely do not see any opportunities to buy the market. That's why I'm not looking for any buys right now. Um, so that's what I see on on Ethereum right now. You can also use this zone right here to sell the market. So if the market comes back down again and retest it, you have another sell opportunity and then it will continue to the downside. And these are the take profits that you have in your targets.
remember that I just told that told you about them on the on the high time frames. If we're looking at Bitcoin, it does look um, pretty the same. We looking at, at the weekly. <laughs> well, we do have an engulfing candle. You can see how much this week we've been actually been bearish. We broke this one and retested, came back down again. On the daily, we cannot see anything special right now. That's why we're going to the four hour to see where the market actually is retesting. And you can see that we did have this low right here that the market broke yesterday, broke to the downside, broke to the downside, came back up again, retested. First of all, it came back up and retested this area right here. And that area is 45968. The market came back down and we did have a small you can see that this is actually a zone that we did have a previous um a previous support before also you can see the wicks right here and that's around four five five seven zero so the market came back down retested that support made it a resist new resistance and if we're looking at the lower time frames that's how it looks right here we did have a little fake out to the upside, came back up, and it did close below the previous um, the previous resistance that we did have here. Broke this support, and if the market comes back up again, the market comes back up again. We can and we have our sell opportunity. You can sell the market, and then you can have your first target at four four seven five one if you want to. And we can also use the Fibonacci levels right here. And you can see that if we're taking it from the high to the low. And the high is 46787. And the low is 44809. The market came back up and it retested actually the Fibonacci levels that we did have here. Came back down, came back up again, retested this Fibonacci level. And now we just might see the market coming down again. So if you want to have levels to your targets, you have 44341, you have 43299, and the last one is 42456. So these are the targets that you can have if the market does come back up again and retest this support, turning it into a new resistance. If you're missing that one, you can definitely wait for the market to come back down here, retest this previous support and turning it into a new resistance and then continue to the downside. And you're using the targets that I was just talking about. So yeah, that's what I'm having on Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. I hope you do understand. And uh, I, I hope when you when you if you're taking these trades that you're using risk management. That was all for today. It was a quick video, but thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. My name is Natalie. Goodbye.